So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your iOS 18 beta update is not showing up at all. Maybe it's even your official iOS 18 update and these updates are not showing up and you're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Now the first thing to understand is that if you are trying to go through and install iOS 18, the big thing to keep in mind here is that if you haven't installed the beta profile on your particular device, well that can probably be one reason why you're running into this problem. So the very first thing I recommend doing here is making sure you have a beta profile option set up on your particular iPhone. So what you're basically going to want to do here is make your way over into your settings application, which is right over here. Then what you want to do right after, you want to come into your general settings, and then you want to go and click on software update. So come right into there and you'll come into this type of panel right here. You want to click on beta update, which is right up here. And then you just want to go and click on iOS 18 developer beta. And you just want to go and get this beta update basically up and started. So if you click onto there and it basically comes up like this, that's kind of all you're going to have to do. And it really is that basic of a process. Now, if you do that and for some reason that's not working or having issues or whatever the case is, the next best thing to do is to basically restart your particular iPhone. So go ahead, hold down the volume up button and the side button right up here, go and get into the power off panel, slide your particular iPhone to power off. And you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem. Which like I said, for a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do and hopefully that ends up fixing it for you as well. Now, if you end up doing that too and that still doesn't end up working, the next thing I'd recommend doing on top of that is to basically go through and essentially make sure your date and time settings are set up properly as well. So what you can do here is come into your iPhone settings right here, come into your general settings, which is right over here, scroll down until you see date and time, which is right over here again, click there. And all you wanna do is set this thing to automatically or just make sure your time zone is exactly where you're at that's another thing you can do to end up fixing the problem as well. So that uh, kind of covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.